Hey everyone, this is Philip Games and welcome back to the next episode of Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we got some of the stars we previously couldn't get with our new Vanish Cap and Metal Cap. And today, we are going to be continuing with Hazy Maze Cave. Known by some as Hazy Maze KV. Yep. Now, the way I like to get a lot of the stars from here is secret, I mean least secret to most secret because growing up with the DS version I have heaps of nostalgia with this course, discovering new secrets every which way. Anyway, these signs basically show you around. Anyway, your main enemies in this course really are Scuttlebugs and Swoopers. The Scuttlebugs will attempt, to will attempt to charge at you like Goombas, and then the Swoopers will, hence their name, they'll try and swoop at you and dart into you as they fly. Now... Alright, let's try and get up this wall. There's our star! I want to see if anything was here. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Now there's another star! Ro watch for rolling rocks. Watch for them till the near end. All the way to the bitter end. Oh yeah, it's much easier to climb out this pin in this version than it is in the DS version. Anyway. Let's get that one up. Can't miss the one up. Got it. Yeah, that's something you can do if you're about to fall. Here we are. And that opens up that gate. Yeah. But yeah, that sign's obviously lying. Dory won't try to eat you. Anyway, here's the next room. Long jump. Banjo! Alright. Let's try this again. We should talk my Alright, here we are. Back here again. Alright, here we are. We're back again. Let's try it. Alright, we made it with one swift jump. Here we go. That was... That took a couple tries. But we did it. Alright, now let's get the more secret stars. Here we go. Navigating the toxic maze. Although we won't actually be doing that. Well, technically we will be doing that. But we'll be doing it in a different way rather than the usual way. 
and thwack your head. Okay, that must have hurt real bad. That will leave a mark. Now, we don't want any of that now, do we? Now, uh, get out of that. That's toxic gas. If you stay in that for too long, you will start losing health. Very gradually. Without notice. And then eventually it kills you. Ooh, we've got swoopers here too. Up the elevator. Honestly, sometimes I wonder who constructed these mines. Let's keep going. Now you got to be very careful while climbing this thing because if you go too far off the edges, you will fall, and you don't want to fall. Stay as close to the center as possible. And right and climb it very carefully. Careful, easy does it. You gotta try your best and not to fall off. And that swooper down there is going crazy. With a flying bird, you mean the owl? Because owls and birds are kind of related. Alright, now we're at the narrow edge. Alright. That's easy, does it? There we are! We got the star. That went out. That turned out great. But wait, we're not done yet. There's still one more star we need to get. Actually, two more. One of them is, you guessed it, the 100 coin star. The other is, you guessed it, this star. And now this is pretty much your guide around the cave. To those who don't know, if you've only played this version and you somehow haven't played the DS version. Which has a map on the touch screen. Honestly, I hope they do a re-release of Sumari 3D All-Stars in the future that includes the DS version in it. Alright, it's only the first scuttlebug that gives you coins, the rest don't. Well, if you want to know what the signs say, they're there. Danger, close. Turn back now! Well, I don't get why there's danger. Well, aside from the obvious thing of toxic gas, but then again, it kind of warns you about it. We're going to be doing a lot of cave exploration. Alright. Let's try and get... Oh, great. 
if need be, we'll get the red coins. Otherwise, let's just get the other ones. Plus, the hazy maze has a switch, which activates blue coins, which are more valuable than reds. So, all right. Let's get the scuttlebug down. All right. Well, there's no saving those coins. Which I've like bowled off. And there's our star. And I'm gone. You disgust me. Well, I almost died again, but thankfully I actually managed to save myself this time. There were many times I actually died off camera to that same black hole. Really? That black hole is something that can really crush your hopes and dreams. So you got to be very, very careful of it. Alright, let's read the sign. Yeah, that's there to warn you that that elevator up there will disappear automatically if you leave it alone for too long. I don't get how this work elevator is dangerous. But really, it's there if you need it. I'm not going to risk it with those Mr. Eyes. They seem like they'd be a little more trickier to kill. As the sign said, the work elevator returns to its starting location, so... There's that. And besides, if we, um... Like, play our cards right, we should have enough to have about at least 100. Or probably even 90 once we reach the, Once we've done the blue coin. It's, we need to hazy maze, and then that way... Well, we need to get us a few more coins, and that way we'll be at 100. And especially that Mr. Eye there is going to be pretty tricky to kill. Alright, we've got swoopers. I think we should just leave that one alone because we don't want to get too greedy, otherwise we miss the ones we actually need. Alright, I think he's... Alright, there he is. No, oh, just leave it alone. Mario is freaking out over nothing. And now... I think there's a snoofer here. There are also money moles, but they don't give you any coins. In fact, they just keep coming. And the swoopers, yeah. Their attempts to kill you are so futile because 
well, you're invincible. And they're not. Literally any attack can destroy them. Oh, great. I missed out. I'm gonna have to come back. This is outrageous. It's unfair. On a side note, I found where the I found where the swoopers are roosting. Up there. Yeah. All right, back in the caves. Just watch out for those money moles. They will toss their rocks at you. I think that should be good. All that happens is the longer you spend the toxic gas, you just lose health. So try to get out of it. Yeah, you can actually see Mario's coughing. The longer you spend in it. Mistaken, there's five more in the final section, alright? Here we go. Oh, it's got some fire spitters. Alright, there we are. You recovered 50 Bowser stars. Now you can open the star door on the third floor. Bowser's there, you know. Oh, well, actually, he hasn't gone there yet. Kind of foreshadowing for a future event. Oh, you found all the cap switches, haven't you? Red, green, and blue. Cap switches you get, the caps you get from the colored blocks are really helpful. Yep, I've got all of them. <laughs> Hurry along now. The third floor is just ahead and probably further away than you think. Yeah, and here I am, in walking into Hazy Maze Cave, thinking it's going to be a breeze because it's my favourite course. Turns out, I get the exact opposite result. It was quite a wild ride. Alright. So that concludes today's episode. So yeah, this has been Philip Games. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe it. Or subscribe so you never miss a video. Oh, in the next episode, we'll be tackling on a new course. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.